morning, people. Happy Sunday. I'm here to pick up my sister because we're going to another brunch. <laughs> this one's the Bridgerton brunch, which I already finished watching Bridgerton. I watched it in one day. Well, like a day and then like a little bit of the next day. I saw like the last episode the following day. But I don't know what you all think. Maybe this is an unpopular opinion, but I like the first season more just because everyone was annoying me this season. Like the queen got on my nerves. Like she needs to get over Lady Whistledown. Um, Edwina got on my nerves. She's so annoying. Kate and Anthony's relationship was getting on my nerves. Like it was just too much. Like I feel that they went overboard with like the sexual tension. Like it was literally the entire season. And then finally it happened or whatever. Like that was like, it was too much. And then who else would get on my nerves? I actually really liked the feathering tens in this episode. In this episode, in this season. And I love Eloise. She's my favorite. So I was happy to like see it for her. And um, I guess I, I liked it. It was okay. But I was just super annoyed most of the time. And I really, really liked the second half of the last episode. <laughs> like that was my favorite. From like the ball. From, from when Eloise... Oh, uh, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it. But I liked from, like, when Eloise, like, breaks up or, like, tells the guy that she's not going to be his friend anymore and, like, forward. But, yeah, I'm here to pick up my sister because we learned from our mistake last time. And I came earlier because we want a better table. Like, not that we didn't have a good table last time. I just want one that's, like, right in the front. But she hasn't seen my message and she's not coming out. And I'm going to punch her in the face. A little punk ass. Yeah, there's like no signs of her. So I'm just going to chill here and wait for her to come out. <laughs>
It was such a good show, but we cannot hear anything. Lupita, I'm deaf from this from ear. From one ear. We were sitting, we got to sit on the front row, but we were sitting next to the speaker. Yes. Like we literally can't, like I can't hear anything. I hear my voice really weird. Did you like the show? Hello, hello. <laughs> yes, I can hear. The concern. Yes, it was amazing. It was awesome. really good. It was really good love this for me i'm over here shopping like if i'm not supposed to be saving money <laughs> guys i'm here waiting for tiago to get home he's in karate flaco's picking him up so and gio is in his dad's office he wants you all to know <laughs> um i usually drop him off and then flaco picks him up on his way like back from work or if flaco drops him off i'll go pick him up so like we usually take turns but I don't like the camera on that side. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna flip you all because I'm used to having the camera on this side, not on this side. So, um, yesterday I did buy some stuff. Let me show you all. Well, I bought my brother's, both of my brother's birthday gifts already. So I'm not gonna show that because I don't want me to see it in case he's watching the video. But I bought myself these cute little sandals. They are so cute. I bought them in size nine and a half. I'm usually a size nine, but in sandals, I have to either get nine and a half or 10 because I have a fat foot. Like my foot's not wide, but it's fat like this. It's like a tamal. My foot is like a little tamal. Oh, it came off super easily. Yay. These were 16 bucks, but they're so pretty. And they feel super comfortable. I tried them on there. And I kind of want to take them to Vegas. But I don't know. I'm a little worried because Thelma told me that it's a lot of driving. A lot of driving. <laughs> How do we drive around Vegas? Thelma told me it's a lot of walking. So like sandals sometimes hurt. For sure, I'm going to take my sneakers. And um, I guess I'll take these too. And then if they're not that comfortable, then I'll wear my sneakers the whole time. And then I bought this candle, but I don't like how it smells, but because, hear me out, I'm thinking of melting out the wax or finding a way, I'm going to go online and try to find a way to take the wax out because I want to use this as a candle holder. Let me show you all. I also went crazy at Bath and Body and I bought a ton of candles. Not a ton, but like more than I should have for sure. So when I put the candle on, like it's the perfect size. Look, it's so pretty. And this was only $13 as opposed to like 50 to like 40 to 50. The ones that they have there at Bath and Body. And then they had this like a flamingo that was like, it said, take me home for $75. I think it was. I was like, get out of here. Like, ain't nobody want that stupid ass penguin. Or what was it, flamingo? Oh, man. But yeah, so I'm gonna try to take this off later. So I'm just gonna make a mess and it's gonna annoy me. But look, like this is so pretty. This part's like really smooth and then this part's textured. I don't, ugh, I hate how it smells. It smells like jasmine, jasmine. That's what it smells like, like jasmine. I hate how jasmine smells, it's gross. And let me show you what I bought. So I bought some wall. The boys are here. So I bought some wall plugs. Hello. In Midnight Citrus Blue. It smells so freaking good. Like you all have no idea. It says that it's a fruity scent. Um, It's fresh spring water and sweet mango. Yes, I smell the mango now that it says that. It smells really good. Yes. Oh, it's so precious. And then they have the soaps like four for I don't know what the heck. So I bought this one for the boys' restroom. It's tutti frutti um, scented. I bought this one for my kitchen. It smells really nice, the kitchen mandarin. And then it's the first time that I buy fresh rainfall. I bought this one for the restroom. And cucumber lily for the restroom too. They smell really fresh. And now my candles. So I bought two small ones because I like I've started putting like small ones right here. And I got the midnight blue citrus and the, I think it's mango mai tai. Yeah, and I got the mango mai tai. I love the summer scents. Those are my favorite to go by. Oh, it smells so good. And then I got four big ones. I got the Midnight Blue Citrus, which is the same as the small candle and the wall plugs. The wall plug refills. And I got bergamot water. Mm. Yes, can I help you, sir? You want to I don't want to Oh my God. Ah! Island Margarita, another one of my favorite summer scents. What's the scent? What's supposed to be the scent for this one? 
mandarin mango sea salt and other essential oils pyramid scheme bergamot water is supposed to be bergamot pristine blue waters what do pristine blue waters even smell like citrus sandalwood sandalwood that's why i love it i love like sandalwood patchouli um sandalwood patchouli and i really love how like a musk like musky scents and then the last one that i bought is ocean driftwood this one i loved i got fascinated by the the design on it so then i smelled it Ugh, it kind of reminds me of mahogany teak wood so this one's oak mahogany ocean lavender and then other essential oils so that's all i bought yesterday i went a little cuckoo kachoo and that's pretty much it the show was so fun it was super fun i really enjoyed it they have so much energy i can't wait to go to the next one i'm pretty sure they're gonna have one for selena's birthday so me and my sister are gonna be there for sure but yeah i hope you guys have a good week don't forget to subscribe and i will see you all next time